right, today we got a 68 FLH engine. Um, I bought this, it was in a 68, like a chopper type of bike. Um, I pulled it out of there and I parted the bike out. So I took the motor out, took the whole thing apart, split the cases, got a new pinion shaft. Um, the engine had really low miles on it. I did the pit, brand new pistons in it anyways. Retrued the flywheels, got them real, real good. These did under a thou on each side. Um, we didn't have to do new rod bearings. They were still in really nice shape. The rod bushings were in really nice shape. Um, everything's good to go on this motor. Took the heads all apart, pulled the valves out, relapped them, checked all the fit, all the fitment. Everything was really nice. It, it, the motor couldn't have had more than a few thousand miles on it, so I cleaned everything that needed to be cleaned, and if there was anything that looked like it needed to replace, and I replaced it. Uh, it's got the correct 66 cylinders, uh, excuse me, 68 cylinders. It's got the uh, date code 66 heads, which are correct. Correct cam cover. Matching belly numbers. You can see that one. Um, no welds or damage anywhere on these engine cases. Anywhere. There's one chip fin on one of these heads somewhere, but that was it. The cases are cherry. No welds inside or out. No repairs inside or out. Um, it's really, really sweet. It's ready to bolt in a bike and go. Um, we resealed the cases and all that stuff, obviously. I had this stuff repolished. Um, I didn't go crazy finish. I put the correct uh, factory finish on the aluminum as well as the pump. The pump's all rebuilt. Uh, yeah, man, this thing's ready. This, I think these make the best looking uh, chopper engines. They're just tough. I mean, except for these, but big price difference. And then, uh, yeah, this is about, about as nice a generator shovel motor as you could ask for. Uh, new intake seals on there. Um, yeah, man, this thing's ready to go. I just put a carburetor, which I have in stock if someone wants one. Generator, timer's ready to go. Yeah, man, it's bolting your bike and rock and roll.